How's it going everyone, Roslyn here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Titania build that I use for my multiple playthroughs of SMT3 Nocturne HD Remaster. This is a mid to late game build that will certainly get overshadowed by in-game demons, but it is still strong enough that you can definitely use it until the end of the game if you wanted. I actually did this myself as Titania was in my in-game party. The build in question is a triple element Titania that uses the multi-hitting Glacial Blast, Bolt Storm, and Tornado abilities alongside their respective elemental damage boosting passives. Mana Refill is also taken to help keep Titania at full MP for every encounter, though if you are using the Dai Sojo build that I showcased in my previous video, then this can be changed for something else. Finally, we'll be keeping Prayer as it's just a nice ability to have access to should you need it. Now before I get into the actual fusion process, I should mention that the footage used will be from the Japanese version of the game, as it's the only version that I own. However, I will be walking you through the process and all relevant information will be displayed in English. And of course, if you have any questions about this video, SMT3 Nocturne, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming, or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. So without the way, let's make ourselves a sweet Titania. Alright, so much like last time with the Daisojo build that we did, there are a few things we want to do in advance in order to make the fusion process go a lot more smoothly. For starters, there are some demons we want to prepare ahead of time. Those are going to be Jikokuten, Momonofu, Sarasvati, Nigimitama, and Aquans. Aquans and Nigimitama can be purchased from any of the gym vendors in the major areas. Though, do take particular note that you do want the Nigimitama to be level 33, so if you can't purchase one at level 33, you will want to level it up. As for the Chikokuten, Momonofu, and Sarasvati, if you haven't already recruited them throughout your playthrough, I will leave some simple fusion recipes in the video description so you can go ahead and make those. The last couple things you want to make sure that we do ahead of time is you do want the Jikokuten to be level 57 so that it learns a skill we're going to pass down, and then you want to make sure that when we go to actually do these fusions that the moon cycle is not between phases 4 through 7. Assuming you've done all that, uh, we're ready to start this fusion process. Alright, so for this first step, uh, we want to fuse the level 57 Jikokuten with Momonofu in order to make a Quetzalcoatl. This is the Momonofu, this is the Jikokuten, and this is the Quetzalcoatl we're going to be fusing. At this stage, we are only concerned with passing down Bolt Storm. Alright, so now we want to take this Quetzalcoatl and we want to fuse it with Sarasvati in order to make Oberon. So this is the Oberon we're going to be fusing, this is the Sarasvati, and then of course the Quetzalcoatl we just made. Here we want to be passing down Bolt Storm and Mana Refill. Okay, and now that we've made this Oberon, the next step is to level it up to level 49 so that we can learn Tornado. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go do that real quick, and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I've leveled up that Oberon to level 49. Go ahead and show you that. There he is, level 49. We've made sure we learned Tornado. The only other thing I have done in advance is I have made sure that the moon cycle is on a full moon, and this is because we will be doing a sacrificial fusion. So, let's go ahead and do it. And for starters, for this last step here, we want to select the Oberon and then select the Aquans. This will be to make a Titania. Doesn't matter what you're passing on at this point, you just want to say, I'm okay to do this. It will ask you if you want to do a sacrificial fusion. You will say yes. Then you will select the Nigimitama. And here, you want to go ahead and select all the skills we want to pass down, which is going to be the Bolt Storm, Mana Refill, Tornado. And then Elect Boost, Ice Boost, and Wind Boost. And as usual, pray you do not get a fusion accident. And there we have it. That's almost finished. The last thing you'd want to do is continue using it until it hit level 62, at which point you would learn Prayer and the build would be complete. So I hope you like the build. 
Like I said at the beginning, it's not necessarily an in-game build as there are definitely stronger demons that you can make, but I wanted to put something out that could be a mainstay for your party throughout the mid to late game, and the triple element Titania fits that bill. As usual, if you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And as I said earlier, if you have any questions about this video, SMT3 Nocturne, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming, or on my Discord server, both of which again are linked in the video description. Until next time, take care.